Marines, my name is Master Gunnery Sergeant Tagle. I am the Senior Enlisted Advisor for Marine Aviation Training Support Group 42, also known as MADSIC 42, stationed aboard NAS Pensacola, Florida. Our higher headquarters is 4th Marine Aircraft Wing, also known as 4th MAW. Today I have the privilege to talk to each and every one of you about reserve obligations and opportunities so that if you do decide to leave the active duty component, the reserves will be there for you. As an active duty Marine, you have had the benefit of working with high caliber, highly motivated and efficient like-minded people in one of the highest callings in any profession. Our commanding general understands that for one reason or another, you might make that decision to come off of active duty, whether it's a great civilian opportunity, a change in family lifestyle. You've been there, you've done that, and you're ready for change. The bottom line is, we recommend you stay an active duty Marine. However, if that decision is made that you draw from the active duty component, we highly recommend that you consider becoming a reserve Marine and joining the 4th MAW team. So let's take a quick overview of what we'll be discussing today. The 4th MAW mission, the unit and locations, the future and present state of 4th MAW, advantages of 4th MAW, some enlisted to officer programs, we're going to cover the reserve basics, talk about some pay examples, finding duty opportunities, retirement, bonus information, benefits like medical, dental, Montgomery GI Bill, how to join, and most importantly, points of contact. The Fort Moss mission statement is to augment and reinforce the active duty component with an operational wing under a total force construct. What that means to me, the active duty component, the reserve component, one team, one fight. There's approximately 7,000 Marines associated within 4th Marine Aircraft Wing currently. 74 different units and detachments, 21 different sites, and over 18 different states. So whether you decide to move back to Miramar, California, go down south to Fort Worth, Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas, go as far east as New Jersey, even go up north to the Great Lakes. There's probably a 4th Marine Aircraft Unit near your hometown. 4th Maw is leaning forward in the next generation of USMC Aviation, as an example. Our KC-130 squadrons will be upgrading to the KC-130Js. We have a VMFA-112 unit that will be receiving the new F-35 Joint Strike Fighters. There's been a VMU debt in Yuma as of early as of 2010. Later this summer, that VMU debt will be moving to Camp Pendleton, California. There's Yankee and Zulu variants of the Hueys. It's on its way. Our first VMM squadron is going to hit the West Coast as early as next year. We've got a squadron augment unit called a SAL, which is part of VMMT-204 in New River, North Carolina, where we've established our first reserve pilots. We've hired two AR Marines, active reserve Marines, one a gunnery sergeant who has transferred from a CH-46 crew chief to become the new MV-22 crew chief. A young sergeant, active reserve Marine, has done a lap move from being an F-18 mechanic and now is an MV-22 mechanic. We've hired six additional SMCR uh, Marines to establish that reserve unit and now we're looking for 20 more. So there are many opportunities out there. It's different. Active duty is definitely a different, different mindset um, and the reserves is not what I expected. So anybody who's looking at joining the reserves, uh, don't, don't judge it right away before you at least look into it because it's, it's different in a good way, in a positive way for me. So what are some advantages of 4th Mall? First and foremost, we're continuing the challenge. We're continuing our unmatched USMC camaraderie. We're staying connected with our fellow Marines. We're surrounding ourselves with great people with the same core values and professionalism. Promotions and leadership opportunities in the reserves is here and it is great. Even with the coming force structure drawdown, the reserves are not being affected like the active duty component is. So those active duty members that have completed their PME, their professional military education, ensure that you do all your PME and it will pay off in the reserves. There are many meritorious promotions out there. For those in the aviation field, safer flight, wanting to get their collateral duty inspector certifications, their QAR, the quality assurance representative certifications. If you want to become, become that division chief, that maintenance chief, the opportunities are there. For those air crew members, there may be some transition opportunities for you as well. We can volunteer for deployments. There are many true volunteer opportunities that will allow you to serve as often as you desire based on the needs of your family and your civilian career. There are such exercises as Javelin Thrust, Enhanced Mojave Viper, Desert Talent, JTF Missions, etc. Looks great towards promotion. It's an extra unbudgeted income. There's also something called the Reserve Counterpart Training for the members of the individual ready reserves. And what that means is you can do your MOS for 28 days, one time out of the year. What I want to share with you Marines is with 4th Mall, we're in the fight.
Well, I was in the reserves for six months with four tanks. Uh, uh, they were with uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky, um, and that was a really interesting time. I got to go to uh, Morocco for the um, African Lion uh, AT, and we were there for a month training with the Moroccan Army, so that was a nice opportunity. And listen, Marines, if you've had the desire to go officer route, there are many opportunities in the reserves. There are programs such as the platoon leaders course, the officer candidate course. If you want to become an aviation pilot or a naval flight officer, those opportunities are out there. Right now, there's a big need for the Warren Officer Program, meritorious commissioning programs, the reserve enlisted commissioning programs. Even if you want to study law, there's a program that you can obtain. All you must do is contact the local OSO, the officer selection officer in your local area. Selected reserves. What is cell res? It basically consists of four parts. Number one, the Selective Marine Corps Reserve Unit. That is the unit or the Marines that drill typically one week in a month and two weeks out of the year. You then have the individual mobilization augmentee. That is when a reservist has an opportunity to come aboard on active duty for a short period of time and deploy with an active duty unit. You then have the active reserve program, which I am part of, and we will go into greater length in the active reserve program if that is what interests you. And lastly, you have the individual ready reserves, the IRR. A enlisted Marine typically comes in for an eight year contract. The first four years, he is in active duty. The second four years, he's called either a non-obligor or he's considered to be in the individual ready reserve. It's during that time that the Marine has obligations to Marine Forces Reserve to update his or her information. So that way if there is a wartime situation or a national emergency like Katrina, we can contact our Marines and they can be called upon to do what Marines do best and that is to protect our community and help the citizens of this nation. Give the reserve a chance. Uh, it's, not, it's not what everyone thinks it is. It's, it's not just one weekend a month, two weeks a year. With the current operations going on around the world, you still have opportunities to deploy, uh, to get a good education, and still be part of the Marine Corps team. The Selected Marine Corps Reserve, it is the main effort of the Marine Corps Reserves. It offers the best opportunity to train as a group in a traditional unit setting. You get to bring your active duty skills and leadership to a new unit. You get to network with fellow Marines that support you in your next phase of life. Depending on the unit, there are deployment deferment options, affiliation bonuses. It's open to most MOSs. You can have a chance to retrain. You can do a lateral move. So how do you participate with an SMCR unit? First and foremost, typically one weekend per month, two weeks out of the year is the norm. However, not every unit is alike. MATSIC 42, my unit as an example, if there's an active duty staff member, we can actually have our Marines drill from Monday to Sunday. We have a flex drill type of scenario. ADOS, active duty operational support, is an extra way to earn money. If you're with a reserve flying squadron, as an example, their tempo is mirrored like the active duty's tempo. So the operations, again, feed money into your pocket. If you're a reservist and you're concerned about your employer giving you a hard time, you're actually protected by a federal law called USERRA. Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act. Bottom line, it is a great part-time job. So what is an active reserve marine? Well, it's a reserve marine like myself that is on a full-time active duty basis. We're here to support, administrate, recruit, instruct, and train the Marine Corps reserve population. We're stationed in duty stations like INI commands, training commands, and if you're interested in the Active Reserve Program, you can actually apply six months prior to your EAS. Just contact your career planner. He or she will walk you through the process. It will give you the ability to earn a 20-year retirement at your 20th year mark. That is the Active Reserve Program. So let me share a story with you. For four years, I was an active duty Marine. I was transferred to the individual ready reserves for about a year, year and a half, when I was contacted by a local prior service recruiter. At that time, I was given some options. I heard about the Selected Marine Corps Reserves and I took advantage of it. I drilled that one week in a month, two weeks out of the year. However, that wasn't enough for me. The itch was there. I wanted to be a Marine. I heard about the active duty operational support commitment that I could make, which would give me then full entitlements, work in a full-time basis, earn medical and dental benefits. Therefore, what I did is just that, ADOS orders. Did that for a few years. Later, I heard about the Active Reserve Program, which again, I had another opportunity to do a lateral move. Today, I'm a Master Gunnery Sergeant, about to retire after 20 years, and I'll be getting my full retirement at the 20th year mark. So Marines, I encourage you to contact your local career planner, contact your chain of command, 
and more importantly, understand who a prior service recruiter is in your local hometown because he or she will help you with these benefits that are out there and that are here for you. So what is a typical reserve squadron made up of? It is comprised of 25% of the active duty component, 25% of the active reserve component, and 50% of the SMCR, which is the Selective Marine Corps Reserves. When you add all that up, that is 100% 24 by 7 support. We're here to train and maintain our readiness. We're here to support the active component, for example, enhanced Mojave Vipers discussed earlier. We're ready to augment and reinforce in support of overseas contingency operations. The Reserve Marines bring a host of uh, their civilian expertise for what they do in their civilian jobs to the Reserve side. Uh, as a leader in the Reserves, uh, it's good to know what your Marines do on the civilian side because they do bring uh, specialties other than their MOS. So now that we discussed the typical reserve squadron, what is a typical reserve Marine? There is no such thing. We are Marines from every MOS living throughout the entire country with the same common denominator. Our desire to stay Marine, the camaraderie, the spirit of Corps, the challenges and excitement. Typical reserve Marines experienced with multiple deployment and combat tours. All your qualifications from active duty are relevant in the reserves. Civilian careers to include students, first responders, Border Patrol, small business owners, lawyers, mechanics, ministers, government officials and contractors, just to name a few. We bring the outside expertise to the fight. Like active duty wings, 4th Mall is a varsity team. Being a firefighter transferred me um, out here near uh, NAS Pensacola, so I knew we had the 4th Mall out here and it, it just it seemed too perfect to fit. So now I'm able to balance the two uh, as far as the commute and um, work as a firefighter and be a Marine at the same time. It's, it's great. Let's look at a pay example for reservists. A selected Marine Corps Reserve Marine does what are called drills. A drill is a four hour period of time. So if a Marine works on a Saturday and a Sunday, he could actually earn a maximum of four drills for that weekend. Let's note one thing in particular. Two days of work equals four days of active duty pay. So for example, a single corporal over four years of service for performing those 48 drills, which is only 24 days, could receive $3,569.28. When they perform the two weeks of AT, their annual training, they'll be receiving $1,495.85. So when you look at the total of 38 days, they will be receiving $5,065.13. Can I earn a retirement? Absolutely. You can earn your federal retirement in the reserves by performing a minimum of 20 years of qualifying service. To be eligible for retirement with pay begins at age 60. Believe it or not, 20 years goes by in the blink of an eye. So how does monthly retirement pay work? Well, first and foremost, a monthly retirement pay begins at age 60. Let's look at a gunnery sergeant with 20 years of service. He or she obtaining the maximum points of 3,000 points to retire will approximately get $821 per month. Now, if you decide to go the officer route, and let's say you pick up the rank of major, all right, with 20 years of qualifying service, you'll approximately get $1,381 per month. That's not too bad for retirement pay. You could possibly receive retirement pay benefits before the age of 60. A member of the Ready Reserve who serves on active duty while on mobilization orders or any other provision of law during a war or during a national emergency, declared by the President after 28 January 2008, the eligibility age for a reserve retired pay purposes shall be reduced below 60 years of age by three months for each aggregate of 90 days of active duty during that fiscal year. So what does that mean? You deploy for six months continuously, you can get your monthly retirement pay reduced six months earlier at age 59 and a half. So here's a question a lot of Marines have been waiting for. Are there any bonuses in the reserves? And the answer, yes. Specific units, SMCR units, and the active reserve program rate cert bonuses. The most recent MAR admin that came out was 565 TAC 11 that states there's $10,000 bonuses for corporals, $15,000 bonuses for sergeants. Again, read the MAR admins. There's also MAR admin 126 TAC 11. The change one to fiscal year 2011 SMCR enlisted affiliation bonus. It's offered for a limited time based on the needs of the Marine Corps. It's subject to modification annually by Headquarters Marine Corps. There's also affiliation bonuses 
deployment deferred options, and many, many more opportunities. Please ensure you talk to your career planners and look into these MAR admins. So are there any other benefits? Medical. Medical is one of the best benefits I think we have. For a Marine who is a reservist on orders greater than 30 days, you are covered with TRICARE, the same as active duty, including your family and dependents. If you are on orders less than 30 days, the reserve Marine is covered. If you are on the drilling status, TRICARE Reserve Select will cover the member that's in the Guard and in the reserves. What do you pay? Members pay typically about $54.35 per month. Currently, a family-covered plan will get about eh, a little less than $200. That might sound expensive. However, if you think of COBRA, which is the most common outside insurance company, they're paying anywhere between $600 to $1,000 a month. There's some annual deductibles for an E4 and below, about $50. For the member and the family, about $100. You pay a small copay of $12 per visit. Again, compare that to the civilian world, there's a big difference. I like the fact that they offer a res uh, the Reserve Select TRICARE, which is what I had, even though my husband's a Marine as well, um, and he's active right now, about to go overseas. Um, I can still have, you know, my Reserve TRICARE, even when he's not on active duty. It gives us the benefits to have as a reservist too, not only the active duty. Are there any other benefits? Absolutely. We got the dental program. Right now, a member will pay about $12.69. For a family-covered plan, about $91. Of course, you also have the service group life insurance plan. And while you're mobilized as a reservist, you actually rate tuition assistance. There's also the post-9-11 GI Bill. There's a more admin, 421-TAC-09, that outlines the transferability of benefits. The unused portion of your Montgomery GI Bill may be transferred to your dependents. To get more information, contact www.gibill.va.gov. Right now I'm receiving the Montgomery GI Bill, um, but once I'm going overseas um, here in the next month, I'll, be, I'll rate the post-9-11 GI Bill and it'll help pay more towards college, tuition, books. So Marines, let's recap. Today we talked about the 4th Mall's mission, the location of 4th Mall, the present and future state of 4th Mall, some advantages of being a reserve Marine, we talked about some reserve basics. We've talked about pay, retirement, benefits such as bonuses, medical, dental, the post 9-11 GI Bill. We discussed how to join 4th Mall. We discussed points of contact. However, Marines, I must leave you with these thoughts. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There is much more information that you need to research for your future. From the Commandant of the Marine Corps, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, and the entire chain of command, we would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and sacrifice. Marines, good luck in all your future endeavors. God bless, Semper Fidelis. Since October 1941, our Reserve Marines have answered our nation's call. I am Sergeant Major Curtis, the 4th Marine Aircraft Wing Sergeant Major. The Commanding General and I would like to thank you for your service to this country and to your fellow Marines. Again, let me encourage you to stay Marine either on active duty or by affiliating with the reserve. I am hopeful that this video is extremely helpful to you as you seek out further opportunities to serve within the Marine Corps Reserve and the 4th Marine Aircraft Wing. Please take the time to further research all the information located at the 4th Mall Recruiting and Retention page at the link provided at the end of this video. Again, thank you for your service and Semper Fidelis.